Hey golfers and welcome back to the Second Swing YouTube channel and today we've got another awesome one for you. We have Caleb Van Erigen in the tour van today. He has a very decorated amateur career and building on that now as a college player, he is in for a full bag assessment with master fitter Larry Bobka looking through the entire set in his bag and adding some new things to the bag as well. So without further ado, we will send it now to the tour van bay with Larry and Caleb. So I'm guessing based on how we played this summer and then your, what'd you win a college event by 16? I did. <laughs> yeah, I did. I, I'm guessing, I'm guessing you're pretty comfortable with, with what's in the bag. I am. Yeah. The yeah. only, the issues that I have, I mean, it's not even issues. I've just never been fitted for my three wood and uh, right. six wood and two iron. Right. And that we can do. What's the longest iron you got in the bag? Four? Five, actually. Five? Yeah, I... Uh, what, what, do you go, what do you go through that? What do you go to then? I go five iron, then two iron, and six wood. That both fly... Uh, two iron flies 240-ish. Yeah. Um, but the, my five iron flies 220. So it's okay. like... I, I had a four iron in the bag, yeah. and I was like, I don't need a 10-yard gap between those clubs. Uh, hit, so your I, old, hit your old five iron first. Old That's, five iron? That, okay. Yeah, old five iron versus new five iron, and just see, just see if... The, you know... And it's just something for you. I mean, not that we might not change anything. Yeah. But it's information for you to know when you throw those in the bag. Yeah. Because you probably won't do that till after after, after your last season. tournament. Yeah. Because our next tournament's only in a week and a half, so yeah. I've got plenty yeah. of time after no, that. No, no, so. yeah, no, no time to do anything crazy. So this thing usually flies like two twenty, I would say. Two twenty, right there. Do I need to hit more, or is that no? Okay. No, based on based on you knowing exactly how far your golf clubs go. No, the answer to that's no. <laughs> you can you can say you can save some swings. That one was a little toey. Yeah. Not bad though. Two fifteen. Yeah. That was more flush. So 222. So the I mean the irons are going to be the irons are going to be virtually the same. Yeah. I mean the 7 iron just flew a little bit but, but my the thing is my current 7 iron actually flies so my distance gaps are weird so it's like 159 iron, 165 uh, 8 iron, 185 7 iron, 205 maybe 2 uh, 210 6, six iron, iron, 220 okay. 5 iron. Okay. So you know, I think about, about 15 yards between clubs. Yeah. Yeah. But I think if the seven iron flies a little farther, that's more of an equal. It's more. Gap. Yeah. It's a better. It's actually a better gapping. Could I hit the eight iron? I just want to see what the no, eight iron. No. Yeah. Let's hit the eight iron. Because my normal eight iron goes 165. Okay. Um, my current one. But I think it would be better if it went like 170. Because if it was, if it was nine iron 150. 7 iron or 8 iron 170 then 190 what would it be so how did you end up i mean it's kind of an eclectic bag of it is. golf clubs <laughs> how did it end up that way uh just by just based on performance what this you pure, needed? I, basically the clubs the long clubs kept breaking and i kept replacing them with <laughs> random stuff i got at second swing that's that's the bit the main story so at one point Last year, I decided I always had had trouble. I had a hybrid that I didn't really like. Right. So I I put in a two iron instead. Okay. And then after I got after the two iron, I realized I didn't need my four iron anymore. So then I was like, okay, what can I replace a four iron with? And the answer was I I was having trouble holding the green on par fives. So I didn't have a club yeah. to hit into a par five. So I said, oh, I can take out put in a six wood. So that's what I did. <laughs> I just got it off the bat racket second swing. Work great. Nothing I wrong. Wouldn't. Nothing wrong with that. That might be the there's six. Pl wood. There's plenty of people that get stuff off the rack at second swing. Yeah, they just don't go out and win tournaments by 16 shots. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, 170. Yeah. So okay. that that's that's what you're looking for. That's right? that's right about Perfect. what I'm looking for. Yeah. Perfect. Well, that's good. So uh, we know how far the five iron goes. So what's the next club you got there? A two the iron. Next up, I have is two iron. All right, let's hit the two iron. Let's see where the let's see where your two iron goes. So this thing, this thing's interesting. It's pretty versatile. I can hit 
uh, like, oh, they cave in. Okay, no. Um, but I can hit like a stinger club with it off the tee that carries 240 and rolls out under no a normal fairway to like 270, 280. Okay. I can also hit a cut into the green. It's a, it's a low cut still. It doesn't it doesn't hold greens, but it carries maybe 230, 235. Yeah. Um, and won't roll out quite as much. Um, but those are the only two shots I really have with it. Yeah, just about. It's about right. I got that a little skinny, but. All right. So what what would you what would you want out of this club? I guess would be. I mean, my I've been told that the shaft is too stiff. When I was when I was at TaylorMade, they said that the shaft was probably too stiff for what I'm. What you're trying for. to do? Yeah. And I don't know if that's true or not, but okay. I think I just want to know if that's actually the way. Yeah. It is. Let me. Yeah. You hit a couple more. Let me go see okay. what. Let me go see what we have. Okay. So here, here's the here's a new here's a new P790 Ooh. with a little bit softer shaft in the two iron. Thank you. So let's see what let's see what this does. Oh, it's the UDI. Is that what What's I that? Is this the type of thing that I have? Just no. No, I have I have the I have the UDI. Oh, I have okay. one right here. But let's see, because you might be better off with just. You might be just better off with the just the set two iron. Really? See what happens. Okay. You know, because would we want something that flies a little higher and be a little more versatile? Um, I mean, that's kind of what my six wood's for. Okay. I feel like when okay. I when I'm hitting this, ninety percent of the time it's going to be off the tee. It's off the tee, and it's going to be hitting that kind of burner. Yeah. Here, I'll. I'll it's kind of this shot right here if I hit it properly. A little left, but oh yeah, that's the idea. Yeah, that's the shot that I like to that's, hit with this. I mean, there is nothing. There is nothing to hate about that. Yeah. And then if I need to, I can kind of hit the low cut, but for the most part, it's that. Or if I really need to hit it into a green right. and hold it, I'll hit the cut real quick. I feel like it launches a little high. That's like that one I cut a little bit fast. Yeah, but. but that's but that's kind of what you. So here, so let's hit. So this is the UDI. Okay. Thank let's you. See what we do with that shaft. So there's this. There's the. There's the stinger off the tee. Yeah. Now does that feel a little better? I like this feel. Yeah. Yeah. I think my goal with this club is to probably get it to carry, two forty. I would say. Okay. With a, because if the five iron's going 220, I should have something. If it's like a 230 or a 240 par three, I should have something to hit into there. Okay. Um, I would say 240 is probably the sweet spot. Like, I think I hit my current one the right distance. Yep. It's just, I'm not sure if it's necessarily the most consistent club because of the shop. Yep. Uh, just on my bag anywhere, yeah. All right, just for the just for the fun of it. Thank you. Oh, interesting. Let's see what that does. Okay. Because maybe, maybe, it's a three iron instead of the two. Yeah. As long as you can, as long as you can hit the shots that you're comfortable with. Yeah. That came off very pure compared to what I was expecting from this one. Mm -hmm. That was awesome. It looks kind of chunky when you look down at it. But. Well, Caleb, it's not my first day. <laughs> that was a little fat. That's a user. Yeah, but there, I mean, there's a little bit more spin. There's a little bit more height there. Yeah. You know, I think rather than you just ordering another two iron, with maybe a shaft that's a little bit softer, I think it. I think it makes more sense for you to get a three iron from them. Yeah. With that hundred gram ascent shaft in it. Okay. And see what you do with it. Yeah. Because that's that's the point, and maybe it becomes, 
depending on the golf course, I carry the two iron one time and I carry the three iron the next time. Oh yeah. You know? Yeah, that could really help. That could be that could be a golf course choice based on, hey, I got long I got, you know, I got a couple long par threes, I got a couple par fives that I need to hit this into yeah. with a little more height. I mean, I think it becomes, you know, at your level, I think it becomes a golf course decision that, you know, you play the practice round on Saturday and the first round, you know, have both clubs in the bag and then figure out which one you're going to take, which one you're going to play or which one you're going to take out. Yeah. But I, I think it, I think rather than just trying to tweak some something with a shaft that you really can't do that much with, I think the lot, I think just having a little more loft in the bag. Yeah. You know, and like you said, you can knock it down. Yeah, exactly. I right? feel like it's yeah. Hit a couple. Hit a couple okay. more. Hit a couple more with that. Do you think I should get this type of head then, or just uh, mm-hmm. any type of three iron? Well, I don't, I don't mind the UDI. Okay. That one's more like it. Look at that. That flies really nice. Yeah, I think it. I think it's got more to. I think it. For the shot you want to hit it, I think it's got more to do with the head than it does with the golf shaft. Okay. I I think the three UDI would be a really good idea. So, so the idea is this will fly higher than the two iron. Yeah. But maybe a little and maybe a little bit shorter. Well, that carried the, that carried two forty two. Yeah. Let me try yeah. hitting the stinger. Yeah. Hit again. your yeah. Hit your hit your little stinger. Okay. I kind of nuked that. Yeah, 245. That's good. That's exactly what you want. Yeah, that's exactly the shot I'm going for. I'll try hitting the cut again just to see if it's like, I don't know, if it's a 240 par three, I gotta cut, cut this one in a little bit. That's the right idea. That's exactly, that's exactly what we want. Exactly the distance. A little bit of an overcut again, but yeah, that's the right distance. It's the right distance. It's the right. Yeah, I think I think it's it's definitely about it's definitely about the loft. And that's higher too. So I mean, yep. it's, I can't hit that into the green if I need to. Can I just hit one more stinger just to see what the, yeah, the height on you it can, is? You can hit as many as you want. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, that's all I need to see. 66 feet. Okay. There, there you go. go. That's it. I, I mean, it's. I can hit it 110 feet in the air or it's 66 exact, feet. It's, in the air. Well, it's exactly it's exactly what you want. Yeah. I mean, you know, and the loft's going to help you do that because you can knock it down and hit that shot. Yeah. But the problem the problem with the two iron is, it doesn't have enough loft, and you're trying to get underneath it, and it just lends to bad swings. Yeah. Where the more loft the more loft's gonna help you that much better. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. There you go. Thank All you. right. So let's hit the let's hit. I want to see the six wood. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is a goofy. You know, club. not very often. Not very often do you see college players walk in with a six wood. Yeah. Technically, it's just a five wood, but it's a five wood with high loft. Yeah. So I call it a six wood. You can you can call you can call it whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Whenever I hit it on our track man at Valpo. It yep. has trouble uh, reading the spin. It always really? says that it's spinning like 5,000 RPMs or whatever. Okay. Um, always says that it has a spin in italics or whatever. Oh, that's bad. So what's the goal with this club? The goal with this club is to hit it out of the rough and hit it into greens on like par fives. Normally it, it varies, but this thing I found usually carries about one, about 250-ish, 250 to 255 on a stock, uh, stock shot outdoors. Uh, the, the danger I've found is that it's really prone to flyers. Um, out of the rough, just as long as I judge it well, it's fine, but if I don't, it can fly. So there's your, I mean, there's basically your 250 carry, 247. Yeah, that's, 
Yeah, I'll try. I'll try to knock it down a little bit. Doesn't Normally, doesn't spin a lot. Yeah. Uh, that's a little. That's Healy. That's gonna spin like crazy. Yeah. See, yeah, normally on the course, I would say it's 250 to 255 carry. So what's the next one in the bag? A three wood? Three wood, yeah. Carries 270, 275. There, that's a more normal that's shot. That's more but, normal? Yeah, I would say. All right, let me go grab something. I'll be right back. All right, just, just curious to see what this does. That is 19 lofted up. Oh, really? Yeah. I just, I went all the way. I went all the way with loft and all the way with spin just <laughs> to see what it does. We can back it, we can back it down from there. Yeah. Okay, so let me Maybe have, a little. Let, yeah, let me have that for a second. Thank you. More ball speed. Yeah. Oh, that's like that's like exactly the distance I'm going for. Yeah. So there's the carry. So that so that's a nine that's a nineteen degree five wood. Okay. The stealth two. But that's with um it's with a Ventus eight X. Oh, okay. So this is So a I think I think two things you need I think the flyers are coming from that shaft not being stiff enough for you. Really? Okay. So that's where you that's where you're losing the control. Yeah. I mean, think about it, you know, the driver, you're hitting a TX in the driver, and that was absolutely perfect, absolutely money. Mm -hmm. So I don't think the shaft's heavy enough and stiff enough in your current club. Okay. And I think this would make more sense that, you know, you get one of these. Okay. Awesome. Is this the same type of shaft I could get in a three-wood then? Uh, yes, you can. Okay. There we go. That's the shot. There is he. There. So that's more controllable because of the because of the shaft for yeah. sure. Like with my current six, uh, the six wood, I don't even bother trying to fade it because if I do, it goes 200 feet into the air. Uh, you want to hit a couple three woods? Potentially, yeah, because I've never show you my three wood. I've, I don't know what type of shaft is in it. I never got fitted for it. I just got this one off the Rack a second swing because it looks similar to mine. It My still has one. a sticker from second <laughs> yeah. swing on it too. It was funny when I was at the 3M, the Golf Works guy got a picture of the sticker and then oh, everyone I on know. the Golf Works oh, article I was know. like, Where, "Oh yeah, what Tour Pro is shopping at second swing?" No, we like we like that picture. We thought it was, yeah. we thought oh, it was gosh, yeah. we thought it was fun. Yeah, that's a seventy-four. Distance. Be nice that's to hit your. Be weird. nice to hit your three wood carry two seventy four. Roll it out to <laughs> three hundred. Welcome to modern college golf, right there. Yeah, I've actually gained a lot of distance throughout college. I think when I probably when I went to Valpo, I was maybe carrying this or my three wood two fifty. I would say. Mm -hmm. I think I've definitely gotten a lot stronger and faster during yeah. my time. Ah, that's right too. It's not bad, but I would, you know what? I would, I would order a three wood with the Ventus. Let me see. Let me see what I got. Okay, thank you. But yeah, you need something a little more, a little more stable. Yeah. Here, do me a favor. Hit me a few with that. Thank you. I don't see him too much because I'm never here. Yeah, he said he travels a ton. I ran into uh, him this summer. But it gives you, it gives me a unique, oh. it gives me a unique perspective in to what modern players need though, which is really cool. Yeah. You know, uh, I, I just see, you know, I think you, I think you got it figured out because I think you're figuring out your yardages in your clubs per the shot needed rather than just throwing four through whatever in the bag and some wedges and a driver and a three wood and a hybrid and trying to figure out how to play. I mean, you figured out that you need a specific club for specific shots. Yeah. And you're putting that club in the bag. I, you know, I think you're definitely ahead of the game. Okay. Thank when you. When it comes to a lot of better players. 
Yeah. I think you you understand your game very well in what you need. Yeah. And I think that's really cool. Thank you. Yeah, you don't see a lot. It. You don't you're you're a little bit what's what's you know, you're you're kinda like uh you're kinda like an old soul in a <laughs> in a young body. It's, yeah. It's it's pretty special. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, it's and your golf your golf scores prove it. So <laughs> thank you. All right. I'm gonna try to hit a better fade than that one. Okay. That one, 3,800 spin is a little goofy. Yeah. Oh, that's even I, worse. I got, I got the, I got, the, I got the weight, I got the weight back though. That wasn't too bad. Let me oh, add that. that. Let me, okay. let me change the weight in there. I left, okay. I left the weight in the back position. Hit, hit a bunch of high bombs. A bunch of high, low spin bombs. Yeah. There we go. That's there the you shot. go. So that, yeah. So I like that. So I like you moving to the stealth too. Okay. In the three wood, and we'll put we'll put that's a seven. So we'll put a little bit lighter shaft. We'll have the eight in the five wood, and then we'll put a seven in the. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Because that'll match up. That'll match up good at what with what you're doing. Yeah. So. Can I try one stinger just to sure. see what? Sure. Uh, of course you can. What that does. Like I said, you can try whatever you want. I think the highlight of my tournament at the 3M Open, I hit a six wood in the 18. I just absolutely swung out of my shoes at it. And afterwards, I looked on the PGA Tour website on Shotlink. I had gotten up to 167 ball speed with a six wood. Did you really? It was one of the best moments of the tournament for me. So let's do this. Let's hit irons, or wedges now. Okay. So let's hit your old wedges versus the new tailor-mades okay. and see how they feel. 